Welcome to the 2023 Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion. This is our first year here as Dirt Road Cred. This show is absolutely massive. We're going to go check out some of the coolest Jeeps, talk to some of our vendor friends, and honestly just have a good time. But let's go check out some cool Jeeps here in Tennessee. All right, guys, check this out. One of the first Jeeps we're looking at, a Golden Eagle Edition JK. They've actually swapped it out with the JL hood latches. Casey lights with the original old school daylighter covers on there. Tan interior, you don't see this anymore on the JLs. I love the tan interior. You see the Golden Eagle. They've got Carolina Metal Masters, grab bars, bullet point phone mounts. This is a beautiful Jeep. I gotta be honest with you. I spotted it out of the crowd and in a land of thousands of Jeeps, this is a great looking Golden Eagle. So really, really nice setup. Wherever the owner is, awesome Jeep. So here's what you don't see too often, a Jeep Wrangler Arctic Edition. I had to actually point this out to Ryan. These came with a special edition color, badging on the side, interior has the full stitching, and I'm not sure on the year, I believe it was a 2011, kind of right around a mid-cycle refresh. This one has a supercharged V8 underneath the hood, so obviously not stock, full coilovers. Looks like the full Genrite setup on this, but a very, very good looking Jeep. You don't see these too often with this special edition. It's super neat that Jeep used to do that. I think Jeep needs to get back into doing that. Having the embroidery, having like some custom badges on the outside, a little bit more than what's now. I'd love to see these cool custom badges again, but Bri, what do you think of this Jeep? I think it's sexy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude, it's, this color is, a, I wish they, I mean, this color is like a, it's like a teal, turquoise, lighter than bikini. It's got like, a, like an Arctic look to it. It is, it's like, it's yeah, that Arctic comp. color. Yeah, no, great looking Jeep here, supercharged V8 under the hood. You can't, you can't argue with that. But Ryan will have to check out the embroidery. This is a beautiful, beautiful Jeep. All right, guys, to say there's enough Jeeps here is kind of an understatement. At first, we thought that this line of Jeeps that actually goes out of sight behind me, that was like the entrance and exit to the show and shine. But in fact, those Jeeps are parked because they had so many people going up to the show and shine. So how cool is that? You can see just a whole line up there. We're actually parked at the outside booth, but this is Thursday and there's still Friday and Saturday yet to go. So this is going to be absolutely monstrous. Uh, I mean, just look at that. The Smoky Mountains are a really cool place to be. Look up there, Ryan, there's the Smoky Mountains up top there. I wonder why they call it that. Huh, I wonder why. So of course we had to stop at Motobuilt. They're one of our sponsors here on the page and we wanted to check out their brand new 2024 392. So this one here behind me is fully loaded up. They actually just built it, they said in four days. It's got their new Gladius front frame shot bumper. It actually will accept the worn M8274, so a very big winch. They have a couple different setups for this, but I wanted to see it in person. 2024 Wrangler, fully built, fenders, everything set up. We'll actually have Ryan get a little screenshot of all the parts that are on this, but what bumper do you think we should run on Ryan's two-door? So he's obviously gonna start building his, maybe a frame shot, because you don't have a Rubicon quick disconnect. This will be nice and easy for you. You would just get a curry any rock or something like that. This looks super clean though, Rye. What do you think? I like it a lot. Yeah, me too. Yeah, very nice setup on here. Gladius frame shop, JK, JL, and JT. So running some 40s, really, really nice setup here. Got an older CJ7 Renegade here. Some nice Mickey Thompson. These are like the classics, the wheels on there. I forget what the name of those were, but I actually had a set on my YJ at some point. Very nice looking CJ7 here. The white is a classic color. Tan interior, you got the tan half top, tan half doors, and some nice tan seats on the inside. We like to check out a little bit of everything. So here's a nice CJ7 right behind me.
one of the other viewer builds that were, well, I shouldn't say viewer, hopefully they're a viewer of this channel, a Sarge Green Rubicon with the tan top. Now this is an Extreme Recon, it's got the sliders down below, and you can tell by all the trail rated and badge of honors on the side of here that this Jeep has seen a lot. I can tell by the trail bat rash along the rock rings, this Jeep gets used. It's really nice, it's got the DC Designs side cowl lights, tan top on here, I love the Sarge Green, and uh, yeah, super clean, some dents on the side. This Jeep for sure gets used, awesome, awesome Jeep. And then how about we look to the one right next to it, which is the AEV, what is this edition called? I think it was the Classic, AEV Classic or Retro. Yeah, there was, we have the video, Ryan, pull up the footage when we're at, at AEV, but yeah, it comes with the Saltas in white, the old school Scrambler graphics, I love these. I think they only came in black, white, or maybe red from AEV. Super clean here, and I love this setup from AEV. We we're just talking to Charlie from AEV, they're great guys and we're probably gonna go out there and do a little bit more work with them. Check it out guys, right behind us, a beautiful green TJ. Ryan and I keep talking about getting a TJ and it starts to get closer and closer here. Now I like this one and I think that's probably the style that we would go to as well. We would get a TJ and really replace most of it. So this has a full fender replacement on here, the rock sliders, and a nice set of American Racing Outlaw wheels. These are the classic style wheels that I really like to see on these. Um, but we're thinking about doing a TJ build. I know Ryan just got his Jeep, so obviously that'll be first. But either doing a TJ and a y or a YJ and just kind of have it set in the garage for those nice days, but something a little bit more built up. We we can take like an old green Sahara and do something like this to it. So where we get the fenders all replaced, we replace all the kind of rusted out areas, put new lift kit on that. But let us know in the comments what you think. We always love to see TJs and there's a lot of good examples. I do miss the days of early on Jeep shows that we used to go to because you would see beautiful TJs everywhere. And uh, they're getting harder and harder to find. So maybe we'll revive one and put it on dirt road cred. Plenty of ducks on this Jeep, guys. Tuscadero pink, extreme recon with like a high velocity accent, daisies, the ducks on the hood, and an extreme recon package. Looks fantastic on here, and honestly, I love the Tuscadero color, so super cool to see. And this one, it just looks nice and clean. Here you go guys, another clean example, a 1990 Jeep Comanche with a 2000 Jeep Cherokee XJ front clip. Looks like some JCR bumpers up front, some Yokohama tires, a really, really clean Jeep. It kind of looks like the, how about it Ryan, the Rhino color, um, a little bit darker than the gray, but yeah, this Rhino, very clean Comanche. You don't see them this clean. That's a pretty rare bird right here. So really neat to see, and this one's very, very well done. Here you go guys, one of our favorite Jeeps, the original YJ from the Jurassic Park movies. This one looks very correct. I'm not an exact movie buff, so I don't know if it's perfect, but the lights up top, as well as the lights on the rear tail light, the whip antenna and the Ramsey winch, it all does look correct. Um, really, really cool though. You see a lot of these done, but just a very nice iteration of, honestly, a YJ that was in movie fame. And this really created, I've seen so many of these, and this one is a good looking YJ. I love the color combo on here, and. Even on the inside, they have like the Isla New Bar or whatever it was called. They have like one of the bags inside there on the seat. And I've seen some of these guys, they even have like the Gillette can that splits open and holds like the embryos in it. So I've seen some of these that are really outfitted. But the first thing that caught my eye was the Ramsey winch. That does look like the correct one up front. It's hard to source all these pieces. I mean, you're talking these YJs. The, the youngest YJ is a 95, so 28 years old at this point. Um, but really cool, really cool to see. Let's check out some more Jeeps outside.
Another really cool looking Jeep guys here, a brand new, well not a 2024, but at least it's a brand new Rubicon 392 Extreme Recon in the high velocity yellow. I'll be honest with you guys, you don't see too many of these out in the wild. And in fact, I think there's only one brand new 2024 in this color in the 392 for sale in the entire country. So really good looking Jeep. It does have the Icon wheels on here, still stock suspension, some Baja Designs lights up front, nice worn winch tucked into there. And they did do the nice kind of blackout hood decal on there as well but i absolutely love to see these i'm a big high velocity guy but seeing a 392 you don't get to see it too often it's a really cool jeep here all right guys so here it is we found a renegade here at the show and actually it's so neat somebody put a matchbox on there for him the new JL grill doesn't look like the Renegade grill. And even if you say it does, the Renegade grill was designed to look like the Wrangler grill. They've said it in press statements. This does not look like the 2024 JL grill. It's, yeah, it's probably the same height here, but that's the only similarity. And it does have seven slots, but the center slots aren't open. They're not vented. And these are not even vents here. It doesn't look like it. And the headlights are tucked back. They are similar size headlights though, but no, this is, it's way different. I wish we had a grill in hand right now. Now guys, we did get to see one of these down at Jeep Beach Daytona. This is the 20th anniversary. They're pretty hard to find in the wild. I will say these were a limited run. You got special badging, special graphics on the inside, as well as stitching on the seat. Like I said in the previous part of this video, we checked out that Arctic edition. I really wish Jeep would get a little bit more into it. What do you think, Ryan? I think the JKs were so much better with like special editions that had badges. Yeah. Like yeah. it was full on like the Oscar Mike edition. The seats were all done. It had badging on the outside. I think they just went a little bit next level with it. And now with the JLs, dare I say they went to kind of some more decal packages. Yeah, like um, high, tide and high Tide, the Jeep Peach. This one at least has stitching on the inside. They but the Islander for a little bit. The Islander was beautiful. Yeah. When the Jeep, when the actual High Tide came out, I wish it looked like the Islander did because the Islander had the blue on the inside, the white top. Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. trying to be that, that Islander. But yeah, still super clean, pumpkin orange. Pretty rare bird right here. So we just checked out that Nacho Orange Gladiator. It's kind of hard to talk over there. We'll get copyrighted on uh, YouTube. Had it on 40s. It had a full Evo suspension system on there. 40 inch Milestar Patagonias. Very nice setup. I'm a big fan of the Nacho color. In between mine, Nacho, Pumpkin, there's a lot of different mixes that they have. Really, really clean build. You don't see the Nacho too much. Very nice Gladiator. All right guys, so check it out. Uh, we had to move a little bit away because the audio from that over there is too loud, but there's NV Jeep. We got to check it out. I've been following them on Instagram forever. That is a fully custom painted Mojito Jeep with a, just a straight 70s wrap. I got to talk to the owners and it's fully custom painted. I wanted to see it in person. I finally got a chance to. That's the neat thing about coming down here is you get to see the Jeeps that you see on Instagram and meet guys like us. So got to check out that Jeep. It is absolutely beautiful. Really happy we got to. Very, very clean PRP seats on the interior, tweed on there, purples, the teals. I love it. That's one of my favorite combos. Maybe we'll do something like that with my high vis. All right, guys, so check it out. We do have some brand new hats, too. Do you guys think that we should put these up on the website for sale? Probably be like the $25 point. These are actually completely done up in leather here. They're done locally too. And we've got two different styles here. So Ryan's rocking this one here with kind of that traditional pattern. And then we do have the gray with the black. These are very nice looking caps here. Great quality. And honestly, it's a good way to just kind of represent us from wherever part of the country you're from. Let us know. We can put these up on the website, get them shipped out to you real quick. But two different styles and we're looking for more ideas and some merch. There's another really clean Jeep here. This is a JK four-door, all white. It's got a lot of nice moto belt armor on it. Some A set of Nitto 40 by 13 and a half on KMC beadlocks. Curry Anti-Rock, Warren Zeon up front. 
really, really clean looking Jeep. So this is a nice version of the JK. It's got all the armored up and honestly, it looks great. really clean Mojave here. We don't see a ton in Gecko, but when we do, they're always super built up and clean. Gray interior there, color match top, color match fender flares, and yeah, got the doors off and just rocking here. So we like to see the Gecko green. That's a nice looking color on the, on the Mojave, I would say, especially the Gladiator. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for the 2023 Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion. You found it here on Dirt Road Cred, and we're so glad that you guys got to follow along. This is our first time coming down to the show, and we had a blast. It has been extremely hot. I think yesterday the heat index was over 100 degrees. We're out here in the parking lots meeting and greeting with a ton of people. And, in fact, we got to meet a bunch of you down here. So if you did get to meet us, drop a comment below. And also tell us if you were here what the what your favorite part was being down here. This is our first time coming down. And honestly, this will be one on our list every single year. Just the nightlife, the things to do, and everything that's going on around this town is absolutely fantastic. The house that we're staying at is beautiful. The mountains and everything here is just completely awesome. And I gotta say, we will be down here again. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed all the Jeeps, all the vendor rigs, and all of our friends that were down here at the Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion. Until next time, my name's Matt from Dirt Road Cred, and I want you to get out there and earn yours.